Hey everybody, it's Joe the 3D Printing Professor, and in the past two months, I have gone coast to coast, from the Orange County Maker Fair in California to the East Coast RepRap Festival in Maryland. So just those two coasts and really nothing in between in the interim. Still, coast to coast. At the Orange County Maker Fair, I had a table where I got to show off Printablock, and this was really the first time that I ran a booth and really was was out there to show what I had. My goal was to convince people who had a 3D printer that they needed to get the toy of the future and that Printablock was that. And it was a big success. Kids love Printablock. I spent the whole time with an extremely busy table with kids just building and making really, really cool things, and I loved it. But I also spent a lot of time answering the questions of people about well, what 3D printer would you recommend? How do I get into 3D printing? I've, I've seen it before, but I want to know more about it. And uh, that's something I could have prepared a little bit better for. Of course, RepRap festivals like the East Coast RepRap Festival is different. It's all about the 3D printers. And everyone there either has one or definitely knows about 3D printing. However, since the East Coast is so far from where I live, I wasn't really ready to commit to doing a whole table, figuring out what I need to pack and how to ship it and how to get it over there. So I went there with the intent of just being me and hanging out with people and getting to walk around for a day and enjoy it. But I was told by a lot of people to not forget the laser pogs that you guys really wanted to see your logo on a laser pog. And so I brought them along. And when I got there, I was asked to fill out one of the tables. And again, I didn't have anything but the laser pog, so fine, okay, I'll spread the laser pogs out on the table and let people check them out. Sure, I'll be the 3D printing professor at a 3D printing festival with the laser cutting project. Let's do this. Now, part of how I got a table and got everything set up for that was due in part to Josh Taylor, who was on the table next to me. Josh had 3D printed a life-size Simon. And for those of you who don't know, Simon is a character that I created years ago that kind of became a mascot for a project that I was working on. And he's just kind of followed me since then. I made a 3D printed version of it, and then Josh took it, blew it up to full size, and put a real working computer inside of it. But of course, Josh was really there with his recreator project, a project that turns plastic bottles into 3D printer filament. And I've had a chance to actually use some of this filament, and I can say it's not PETG, but if you get the settings right, it is a viable way to 3D print and reuse material to 3D print with. Josh's table was busy the whole time with people just amazed at this project. And you know, that's really kind of the point of these festivals is to get your idea in front of people in a way that they can really get it. And I think that Josh had a lot of success with that that weekend. How you doing? Of course, these rep rap festivals are also a place to kind of get a peek at the future of 3D printing. And the last time I went to the Midwest rep rap festival and the East Coast rep rap festival, I saw a lot of 3D printers that were using 3Z axes to level the build plate, and this time, those were gone. There were very few of them. It turns out that that idea was just too expensive when compared with the possibility and effectiveness of just using a compensation sensor. But I also said that multi-tool head 3D printers are coming down the line, and they definitely are, thanks in no small part to Prusa's multi-head XL 3D printer. And I'll tell you what, getting to see this thing actually running, actually working in action, super exciting. I cannot wait to see the awesome things that people are going to do with this technology. Not because it, it just allows us to change colors or even just change materials, but the heads don't all have to be 3D printer heads. So I think this technology still will have some possibilities. But something new at the East Coast RepRap Festival was a five-axis 3D printer. 
The idea that your build plate could move relative to your nozzle and that we could print not just in this layer cake way of doing it, but that you could then turn your model and print a part of it off to the side, eliminating any need for supports or just that you could print impossible things in ways that we never thought about. Now, this is an idea that was specifically made to solve a specific problem. So it has functionality, but in the general case, bringing this to the public is going to be very, very difficult from a software side. And I actually got to sit in on a conversation just by sheer luck with Tony Locke at Do It 3 d who had this five axis 3D printer and Stuart who writes Kirimoto, bringing together the hardware and the software. I was just a fly on the wall for this conversation. I, I have to be honest, half of it went right over my head. But this, this is what these festivals are all about. People connecting, people making these connections and putting together the talent on one end and the talent on the other to synergize and make something new. Is something going to come of this 5-axis 3D printer? I don't know. But is something going to come of Duet 3D and Kirimoto getting together? Unquestionably. And speaking of the people, I was so excited to meet with these really 3D printing family. People who I love. People who I have followed for a long time and yet somehow never actually met in public or reuniting with people who I haven't seen in years. You know, there's too many to list as much as I want to go off and talk about the individuals who I met and I didn't get to take selfies with all of them, but every single one of you, even if I was just able to pass you and say hi, but especially if I was able to just connect with all of you it was exciting to meet you and i look forward to seeing you all again earth was amazing the orange county maker fair was amazing and it feels so good to be back out and meeting with people and actually interacting with people i can't wait to do more of it thank you to everybody who's back to Kickstarter in the past, and especially thank you to my direct backers on Patreon and PayPal. You guys are the ones who made this possible. This is all thanks to you. <laughs>